Billy Gunn and Cassius Clay. None to the boxer, just the demented humour of a deadbeat dad. Simply put, this is the making of a documentary on our forthcoming feature film, DP Dippy. Beside me, the grey holder, Marty McNamara. Bonjour. DP Dippy is the version screenplay by myself and Drip Barry, and the result of three weeks hard toil, but we can talk more about that later. Would you shut up and introduce yourself? Hi there, I'm Marty McNamara. I recently graduated from college with a degree in media studies. I'm currently on a gap year and the powers that be are funding it. In other words, I'm on the dole. Uh -huh, as I am. As is he. All efforts to end the media industry have drawn a blank thus far. <laughs> well, do I look like the kind of guy that does telly sales? <laughs> I'll say it. Here, here. So for the next few months we're going to be doing everything in our power to bring the aforementioned movie to the big screen. For your viewing pleasure. I think bigger things will come out of smaller places. Is that right, Marty? I bet they have. Take Bill Gates, for instance, Britney Spears, and newborn babies. Newborn babies? It's just a statement of fact. You better be taking this serious. You better shape up or you'll be left around here. And I'll have my Oscar, my crib in the sun, and my night with Miss Scarlett Johansson. And anyone interested should come to the Old School Theatre next Saturday week or call us on 081 555 and that'll be this week's issue. That's great. Thank you, bye, bye. Great! You would beat the fact that they when they see the ad. Auditions. Oh, I can't wait to get stuck in. I think you're rushing things a bit. I mean, we've no money. Well, you always have to put it down on everything. I've seen copies of the script of big film companies and relevant funny bodies. Quick read, they'll be falling over themselves first. Probably even get dead in war. I just think you're getting ahead of yourself, setting us up for a fall. Fall! The only fall I'll be having is a fall from grace when I get to the top. Wow. Our first call for talent. This is Deeply Dippy, written by me and Drip Barry. Halfway through about two years ago, Drip dropped out and saw me his share of the rights for a tenner. Never go to the school himself, never came back. Who can blame him? We're five weeks in and our budget stands at 274 euro and still no word from potential investors. Which is a good thing. A case of them coming up with the money to do the script the justice it deserves. But what did you think? What you said? When Marty finished his degree, I pitched him the idea. The charismatic Studios was born. In other words, this place. Oh, shut up. Who at our age has a script in development and a studio ready to go? Maybe basic, but it's a goddamn start. Give me Lord. Deeply Dippy, the film that launched the face. Turn that camera off you. Come on you, you old buzzard. Let's get you out to the shed. Who'll be recording this, you fecker? What's that thing with the visual? Turn it off! So I was really hoping you could help out a couple of ex-pupils with designs of making a name for themselves in the world, Mr. Henry. Mr. Henry. Sorry. Cassius, you caused me a lot of grief when you were here. But I don't see why I can't give you the use of the room. Fantastic. You won't regret it. You're a town treasure. They should give you a statue. For 100 euro, let's say. What is it you pups say? No man, no fun? If the door's open at eight, we're expecting hundreds. Shut that thing off. We've hired security for the day in the shape of Stevie Hardy. Hey Stevie, say hi. Dedication. We also went the extra mile and hired a guy to capture the footage from the auditions today. Hey Wes, come over here and get to work. Fell off a scaffold about a month ago. Lucky to be alive. All right Wes. Switched it off, saving the tapes. Start rolling when the audition news arrive. Are you sure you told the papers the correct time? Cindy Harper, Mr. Clay. Thanks, Stevie. You can go. Hi, you guys. I'm Cindy. I'm here for the auditions. Audition? You're hired. Leading lady. Flower power. What do you think, Marty? Most certainly. Best entrance I've seen in a long time. Better so over here with us. Do you want to be alone shortly? Excuse me. What are you doing? Auditioning. Does this look like the X Factor to you? Get that guitar and get out. 
Do a few magic tricks. Well, do one then and disappear. Wouldn't have a smoke on you. I don't smoke. Come here, is there anywhere I can take a leak? Stevie, if they're not actors, then don't let them in. Cool. Who are you? Just refer to me as the package. Now, what do you want me to do? Oh, just hit the stage and improvise. Improvise? What, what's the pay like? Pay? <laughs> There's no pay. Not at this stage. Nothing. I took the day off to do this shite. Do you know what you can do with your improvising? Ram it! There's no problem here. Remove this guy, Steve. <sighs> Look, don't hold this against me. I'm just doing my job. That's what I'm all about. Nice hair. What's your name? Rhonda Flanagan. And this is my boy Raza. I'm looking to get him started in this acting now. Well, there's no part in this movie for kids. Ah, Jesus. Look at him. The next Harry Potter this lad. Sorry. Stick your sorry up your arse. Look at his face. Maybe another time. Another time? I give you the future and you say another time. Come on, Raza. This gobshite wouldn't know if talent had stepped up and smacked him on the ugly puss. I told you to cry. Why couldn't you just cry? The Cones wouldn't put up with this shite. Stay far! Stay far! You keep your political shit out of here! What the fuck is Tara? <laughs> Guys don't even know I'm recording this. So, are you into all this acting crack? I wouldn't mind, but he won't let me. What about you? Me? <laughs> ah, no. Uh, face for radio and a voice for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I'll get some body double work with this. <laughs> Imagine that stuck in your gob. <laughs> no, you're right. Face for radio, out you go. Uh, well, it was nice working with you, lads. See us on the pavement. You sure you know what you're doing? Right, lads. It's time. I have to lock up. Oh, it's the longest day of my life. When did we say? Five X. I'd have to be more. Still, I'm not a leading lady. Looks like I'm gonna have to take you up when you're offered to do some acting. Right, let's go. Where's us in a week? If I try out, Mr. Clay. You stick to security, Steve. Leave the movie making business to me. But, uh, we'll leave you on board, Marty. We need a bodyguard soon. Wes, cut. See what I did there? Made you think one thing. Turns out not to be what you thought it was at all. That's the power of the five point lighting system. Little invention of my own. My lawyers are watching. Light or right, or look like shite. Simple philosophy. I'll have to head back downstairs. Cindy and Marty are getting a little bit too close for my leg. Doesn't bode well for my production. More movie making tips later. I'm rolling. You don't say I'm rolling in the making of your twit. It's supposed to feel real, unaudited insight. Not some twisted pile of shite with a dictatorial structural narrative. Hi everyone. We're two months in and our budget has hit 600 euros. Today, we hope to secure the main location for our movie. Follow me. The secret to any negotiation is knowing your own worth. While knowing everything about the person you're negotiating with. Especially, and I can't stress this enough, especially their weaknesses. Shut that thing off. What are you doing, Mum? Waiting to die. Oh, Mum. You really are so dramatic sometimes. Here, have a drink. You're such a good boy, Cassius. Not like that bastard of a father of yours. With that trap down the street. Mum, Marty and myself are making a movie. 
and we're going to need use of the house over the next few weeks. Now we give you all the vodka you can drink, and we'll even give it to you in your bedroom so you don't have to get up. I expect to grow us enough from this movie to move us to watch some of your crimes. Imagine one, you and me at swashbuckling venues. So what do you say? Sure. Fine, whatever, whatever. Get me some of that blue label stuff. But I tend to sleep longer. Be a good boy, get me enough. Sure. Only 11. I know, isn't it great? What age are you now, Marty? 23. 23? Lord, what well, I wouldn't do to you. Hey, hey, man. I think you and Cindy are getting too close. What about tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, right. We've no future. Tomorrow, McNamara? Are you for real? Kids be bullied no end. Mm hmm, that's true. Right, Clooney, let's see how good you are. Let's go. Okay, let's take it from the top. Heartbreak scene. Take one. You know I love you forever. I just can't love you anymore. But that doesn't make any sense. What in love makes sense? I see you around. Not bad. Okay, Marty, take off that top. Let's do it again. Foreign lover scene and <coughs> action. I am leaving you for another woman. But why? One has to be faithful to oneself. I cannot live a lie. But you can't even be faithful to your wife. I guess not. This is where one parts to, with the eternal words. It's not you. It is me. But if one is to continue in one's eclesiastical dimensions, a rampant rendition of the truth must suffice. It is you. No one but you. Plain down, darling. You. Cut! I need to feel the Russian Marty. I don't feel it. And Cindy? Show me some tears. Imagine this man before you standing like a donkey. And he's leaving you. You know it ain't getting any better. Show me some devastation. Alcius, be a pair to nip down the offie for a moment. Marty, nip down the offie for a moment. I need to go over Sydney's lines with her. You were fairly good. Don't patronize me, Cass. That was a war running work. Should be on stage. Cassius! Oh, yeah. Just turn off this piece of apparatus and give you my complete personal attention. Oh, it's been a rough day. <laughs> it was the time of day every studio movie exec looks forward to. Bedtime. Granted, my bed ain't adorned with a bevy of beauties yet. Who says you can't have a bit of fun in the comfort of your own bed, huh? Daisy does Dublin. Not a rehash shape, but it'll do the trick. She has desires. She has needs. She satisfies every bloke's fantasies. She wants to do Dublin. What do you think I am? Stupid. How'd you miss ending up on the net? I ain't taking the hill to the road to fame. Nah, not that anyway. Two and a half months in, and our budget has hit a grand. At this rate of going, we should begin filming sometime in the next decade. We've been offered jobs as bin men, but Cass is adamant that we slum it out, as he says all true artists need to know poverty to truly appreciate what they have when they get there, or some shite to that effect. Personally, I just think he's starting to lose it. He wants me to record a series of interviews next week so we can practice giving them for when Deeply Dippy takes off. The man has flipped. Still no word from the funding people. My guess is they read the first two pages in that script and chucked it into the near skip. How do I look? Like a businessman. Exactly. And there you have it, folks. The flip side to wannabe fame gone to the head. Can't you do anything right? Some dolly system this is. When you're on a tight budget, you have to improvise. Let's do it again. Picture this. A huge tear dwells in the corner of my eye as I walk towards a huge fan. 
Stick that camera in slow motion and catch that tears it flies. Cinematic genius. Uh, inspiring. Well? Uh, I think I got it. Get over here, let me see. You better start treating me with a little bit of respect. You ain't respect in this world, buddy. You've achieved nothing yet. And you have. Me? What about my script? My direction, my managing locations, and this is behind the scenes footage for my fans. What's your definition of achievement? Shut up. What's that? That, my good friend, is art. Take the right photograph for that. You know what you got? Probably a good picture of board shite. No, the Turner Prize, that's what. I think you're right for once. I'm gonna have to come up with something better than Grandad's skateboard for a dolly for the tear scene. Shit! The battery's dead. I told you to charge it, you stupid f- 16 weeks in, and the powers that be have refused funding for Deeply Dippy. I haven't told any of the guys yet. But our own budget, I think we drop a few characters and move on. No reason given, just a polite, we hope you find a home for your script. Well, it has a home. It's the pain of me bollocks, it's my home. Oh, who cares what they say? I know I've talent. The next time we do a making of documentary, I'll have somebody else to hold the camera. I'll be tall, blonde, naked, and check. Tell me, Cassius, what has the success of Deeply Deeply meant to you? Well, it's hard to put it into words, Oprah. In monetary terms, 223 million at the box office, which I think speaks for itself. In personal terms, well, I think Deeply Dippy came along at a time in our lives when I and my co-producer Marty Mack were in a dark place. I'm not in a dark place. Oh, just ask the questions, guys. So what's up next for Sir Cassius Clay? Floyd Mayweather and Will Smith and Captain Awesome. That's a summer blockbuster, all for the money. Keep me in the style I've become accustomed to. I'm also directing a short independent flick starring Bruce Campbell as a, a freelance hunter of serial killers. That's called Thunder Alley. And I'm developing a script chronicling the early years of the life of Bernard Dunn. That's called Flattened. Cassius, you've never been married. Any reasons? You know, I get asked that question often. I've been tabloid father for years. And I'd love to put the record straight. By all means. Women adore me. I've just never felt the need to take one on, on an exclusive basis. Why? I'll give you three words. Heather, Mills, McCartney. I'm sure love is cool and lovely and poetic and all those things. But I've learned from Paul. He's a friend, you know. Nope. Marriage just isn't for me. So how is Paul? Licking his wounds. It's been rough having to part with all that cash. Plowing sterling too. And do you know, is he doing anthem musically? Is this interview about me or Paul McCartney? This interview's over. You've no respect. Cassius, as you approach the end of your life, have you any regrets? I think he's out there somewhere. You couldn't even do this for your own grandchild. Turn it off. We'll do it again tomorrow. Journal. I will now demonstrate my other talent, which I think you'll find speaks for itself. I'll be doing the choreography of mine. I can even do a fitness video. It's tough. Being a creative genius. few of the guys around. I have some sad and very disappointing news. My mother has absconded to Greece with a Greek on a sabbatical and has robbed our budget to fund it. Bitch! 
It's my mother you're talking about. <laughs> Thief and all personal family agreements is aside here for one moment. But I've had just about enough of this. I knew this was a load of fantastical shite. Four fucking months I've wasted on this. No more. Taking that job. Ooh, Coachy! Hey, Marty, if you're going around tomorrow, tell Angie to pop over. I need to speak to her. Well, that didn't go too well. As for Angie, she'll come running. I give her the old, I give you everything spiel. And we make that 60 second love I love so much. How it goes with us. As agreed. Features, play a little jazz there. It's feathers. Features, feathers, potato, potato. In fact, I think I'll nip up to Mum's room, see if she's left any reserves. You guys in for a little session? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, by the time Angie gets here, could be good for a couple of minutes. Hey, Stevie, get the curtains. May as well do this right. It's all about atmosphere. Seven months in, and looks like I'm going to have to abandon Deeply Dippy. Went to see Father Casey this morning, and actually got down on my knees and begged him to fund my movie. He said, parish funds cannot be wasted on such follies, my boy. While he sat, sipping on a double brandy, nestled in a lazy boy. Got a postcard from mum this morning. She ain't coming home either. So... So with no money, and no location, it's time to put the dream to bed and move on. And Grandad's out the back, taking down his shed and moving up to Marty's house. Me? I'm off to find Drip Barry. I want my 10 euro back. I forget me flute if it wasn't so long. 